let's start your snap interview for rcc as you have a uh, experience as a designer so first of all introduce yourself yes sir sir myself prashant i belong to kalakirchi district from tamil nadu i have done my schooling in my native district in academics i have graduated in civil engineering from jpr engineering college and i have also completed masters in structural engineering from tyagaraja engineering college i have three years work experience in the field of uh, civil and structural and also in marine field i have worked as a project officer in the national technology center for port and waterways which comes under the ministry of uh, port and shipping is yes, that's all about me thank you sir what is the altitude of tamil nadu sir altitude of tamil nadu hmm. don't read down sir sorry what is the rl of that uh, particular place where you are uh, situated sir i don't know sir you are designer you never gone through the what is the rl uh, on the basis of that you are deciding this should be sir, the we will take it from uh, benchmark on the nearby railway station sir then definitely that is also uh, written na uh, you should have idea what is the rl okay no uh, idea no idea sir okay so can you tell me uh, how will you uh, calculate the characteristic strength of the concrete yes, sir i will um cast the cube in size of 150 cross 150 cross 150 mm hmm. it, sir actually i have seen that it is in three layers only sir as per is 119 Uh, this is in three What? years. Yes, sir. Uh, to the maxim- maximum depth of 50 mm hmm. each layer. I didn't say in four layer. I said this uh, slum test was in four layer. Okay, sir. Okay, this is always in the three layer. Okay, sir. No, it's in four layer. But your slum test is in the this uh, four layers, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So yes, sir. Are you are just uh, calculating or you are just making a cube? Is yes, that uh, after making the cube, I will uh, uh, I will keep it the specimen for one day, yeah. and after that I will take uh, demold from the spare uh, uh, equipment, and I will uh, I will I will be having a curing, sir, uh, for seven days, for fourteen days and twenty days. Uh, actually, What minimum three samples, sir. What should be the pH of water? A pH of water you should not less than six, sir. As per IS four five six. Okay. So after twenty eight days, you are testing the cubes, right? Okay. Testing the cubes, sir. In uh, universal testing machine, uh, I will CTM be applying. CTM. Sir, CTM compression testing machine. No. Uh, about the load of fourteen newton per mm square per minute. No. I will directly take the load uh, no. divided by the area of surface exposed to the load. i will be getting the compressive strength is the compressive strength of concrete or concrete cube what do you think uh, it is a compressive strength of concrete cube sir so what i ask i ask for the concrete sir concrete hmm. sir whatever we making in the cube is the character strength of the cube sir But actual size will not be this one fifty by one fifty by one fifty, na? Yes, sir. It will vary. Actually, we are calculating for uh, per mm square how much the strength it will be obtaining, sir. Mm-hmm. So no. as like, if you are increasing the area, then what will happen? The failure load will increase or decreases? Increasing the area means. If you are increasing the this uh, okay. cube dimension, then definitely okay. the area will also be increased. So yes, sir. According to that, the your failure load will increases or decreases. Failure load will decrease. Uh, Sorry, uh, comparing to one fifty mm cube and uh, higher cube size, you are saying, sir. Hmm. Actually, it will decrease. Uh, for higher size, it will be increasing. More it more load it can withstand. Are you sure? Yes, sir. So that is not true. Whenever we are going with the higher size specimen, the this uh, load carrying capacity always decreases. Okay, sir. 
because the chances of infertility is very more as compared to smaller size uh, specimen that we have is yes, it one we have this uh, 100 mm size cube second we have 150 mm size cube which one having more strength actually 100 mm will having more strength sir what is saying whenever you are just going with the higher specimen size the strength always uh, decreases okay sir yes sir प्रशांत ओके सॉरी फॉर डिस्टर्बेंस राइट ओके ओके सो नाउ व्हेन वी आर जस्ट पुटिंग द क्यूब इन द सीटीएम द फेस ऑन विच वी आर अप्लाइंग द लोड सर ऑन द टॉप टॉप मींस व्हाट टॉप ऑफ द क्यूब जस्ट कंसीडर अ क्यूब ओके Is and uh, on what basis you are saying that is a top face sir actually cube we are having same dimension in all the size hmm. we have to make a mark on the top for which specimen it should be hmm. yes sir okay let me place a doc there date of casting and grade of concrete also okay sir okay on that way we can uh, have some idea this is a top face Are you getting what I'm saying? No, sir. I'm not getting, sir. It is visible to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible, sir. This is my cube. Okay. okay I just sir. mark here its top surface, the date of casting, and the grade of concrete, right? Yes, so my sir. My question is that when you are putting this cube in under CTM, the face on which you are applying the load. The question is that. Yes, sir. Uh, From the bottom, hydraulic will move upwards. Which one face? Mm -hmm. I just want to know the face. Um, sir, I, I don't know, sir. Okay. What type of loading you are applying in the CTM? Compression, sir. Compression, triaxial compression, biaxial compression, uniaxial compression. Uniaxial, sir. Okay, how will you define the uh, Young's modulus for concrete? Sir, we have formula of five thousand root of F C K. Five thousand square root of F C K. So, what is it basically? It represents the Young's modulus of the concrete, sir. Okay. Do you know there are the various types of the modulus of velocity? Okay. Initial tangent modulus. Is that second? Initial second. Yes, so what is it? Five thousand square root of F C K. Sir, actually Initial I don't remember. Sir, I didn't recall it, sir. Okay, how will you define the creep? Sir, creep uh, prolonged the sustain of loading. The member sustain for yeah. for the prolonged load it will tend to creep, sir. What did you mean? What is the meaning of creep? For a long term load, it tend to deform or uh, 
ड्रैगन नॉन साइड सर ओके लॉन्ग टर्म लोडिंग यस सर लॉन्ग टाइम सस्टेन लोड सर एक्चुअली वॉइस इज ट्रेटी Live load may vary from time to time, sir. So dead load. Are you designer? Yes, sir. You are designer, na? Huh? Yes, sir. Why you are saying the live load is just sustain loading? No, sir. The answer is no, or you are not designer. I am still confused. No, sir. Live load is not the sustain loading. Anything else? Except this uh, dead load. Which uh, we are considering under the sustain loading. Mm. No, sir. No. Reverse re reversal of stress is it, sir? Is it? No, that is a, that is a different thing. Reversal of stress is the nothing, but that is kind of an compression is uh, you are considering in the design and somewhat how tension is coming. That is nothing but a reversal of stress, right? Yes, sir. Have sir, you heard about pre-stressing force? Pre-stressing force, sir. Hmm. Yeah. I just think about that one. If we have a PSC section, then pre-stressing yes, force will be throughout the life of the member, isn't it? Yes, sir. And what do you think? Pre-stressing force will diminish uh, with respect to time. No, sir. Pre-stressing force. Um, we will apply some force in the tendons to make some concave shape or. to resist the load acting on it sir no that is fine yes, i am saying the pre stressing force is also an example of the sustain loading because the, it is acting throughout the life of the member yes sir yes dead load and the pre stressing force these are the two loads that we are considering in the design okay sir right can yes, you tell sir. me uh, what are the bearing stresses bearing stress sir Have you heard about this bearing stress? Yes, sir. Hmm. Bearing stress. Uh, the member which is able to bear the maximum. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, no issue. My last question to you: What is the reason for the crave? I don't know, sir. Okay, so let me give you feedback. Shanta, you need a lot of reason. Yes, sir. Right, your basic is very poor. Thank you, sir. Okay, might be your designing part is good. I'm not uh, denying that thing, but basic that you have to take care, right? What I ask yes. you, first of all, where you are living in Tamil Nadu? Yes, sir. And where in Tamil Nadu? Kallakuchi district, sir. Kallakuchi district. So just have a look on there. The what is the reduced level, right? that is most basic and second thing uh, what i ask you uh, this is a cube yes, i'm sir. showing it to okay yes, okay sir. so prashanta we are never applying load on the face which is not in contact with the mold this is written in the is code clearly because okay, when sir. we are removing the this uh, mold or uh, shuttering from the uh, concrete and we are just saying the some voids that we are saying honey combing if voids yes, are there then definitely strength will be less Yes, sir. So we are applying the load or keeping the plunger in contact with that face, which is in contact with the mold. So it it will be open. Now you are pouring the concrete and you are tamping each layer. Yes, sir. Okay, then voids will be less. But what about the sides? The chances of uh, this formation of voids will be more. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, sir. And just have a look. What type of modulus of velocity we have? Initial tangent modulus, tangent modulus, second modulus. They will ask you. Okay, sir. Okay, and they will applications. Why yes, you are just calculating this uh, Young's modulus here? 
and what is short term deflection what is long term deflection yes sir this is very uh, basic question for a designer so creep okay, creep is nothing but time dependent deformation in the member due to sustained loading yes sir what is happening this we have a beam and we apply okay. some load on it and what is happening we are not increasing the magnitude of load the beam is same condition is same this deformation is increasing time by time yes sir okay mm -hmm. still its reason is not clear Okay, yes, but in some books it is written this is due to the movement of the viscous water that present in the concrete. Okay. Fine. Bearing stresses are what? Bearing stresses are of compressive in nature. So okay. Whenever we have a junction of column and footing, the column will transfer all the load to the footing. Okay, we have sir. to check whether the footing is safe in shear or not. Might be possibility is there column may punch into the footing. Punching shear. Yeah, we we have to check there the bearing stresses, na. If okay. it is not safe in the bearing stresses, then we have to provide the double steel. Okay, sir. These are the designing based question. They will not okay. ask such question from a site engineer. They will ask such question from a designer. Okay, sir. Okay, work on that one. Okay, sir. Anything else? No, sir. No. No, sir. Oh, okay then. All the best. Keep preparing. Keep learning. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Are you getting what I am saying to you? Yes, sir. I'm getting sir. There's no issue with the question, na? Yes, sir. No, sir. Okay. All the best. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.